Hi, Gary here from Mr. G Shave, back for another Battle of the Blades, Monday Battle of the Blades. I think this is Battle of the Blade or BOTB number five, number 25, number five. <laughs> um, and this one was requested by um, David Cuniff. Let me just check, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, let's just open it up. Yeah, Dorco Prime versus Dorco Titan, David Cuniff. Um, so thanks Dave for this request. Uh, as usual, I'll go through the hardware first, um, the other hardware first. It's the Life Venture Bar, which I think I'm gonna use for every one of these Battle of the Blades. I'll use different brushes depending on what soap I use, but I'm using the Barber Pole, which may give you a hint as to what I'm using because it's Sterling Soap Month or Sterling September, um, and I'm taking part. But I think I'm only going to take part until I reach the end of the, the Sterling Soaps that I've got, and then I'll probably swap on to another soap manufacturer, maybe from the UK or from Europe. <clears throat> so... And the hardware, as you are probably all aware, I'm going to be using my Rockwell 6C. I'm going to be using plate 3. Let's just make sure you can... So the R3. Um, and in there, in the rose gold, I'm going to be using Dorco Prime blades. So, and that's the blade. So I'll open that up. I hope everybody had a good weekend and you're not all suffering with hangovers. I'm not too bad. I didn't have that much to drink over the weekend. I did have a couple, just a few, not, not, not excessive. Let's just say that. So, Dorco Prime Blade is loaded into the cap onto plate three. it focuses and put the washer on and then the handle and then blade I'm going to use obviously in the gunmetal is the Dorco Titan that's it there I'll show it to you that's the that's the cover, both are single wrapped, I believe. So let's go with the Dorco Titan. Now I've not used the Dorco Titan before. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna perform, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> It was very cheap, let's put it that way. I forget how much I paid for it, but it was some of the cheapest blades I've ever bought. So there's plate three on there. <clears throat> Washer. Handle on. And that's sorted. So, that, so we're ready to uh, get ready for the shave. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Ready for the uh, ready for the shave, so let's wet the old, hydrate the old visage. Oh yeah. And the pre-shave today, I forgot to take it out of the box. Is Perazzo blue. That's Perazzo blue. So, has anybody guessed yet what the soap for today is going to be? It's obviously a sterling soap, and it's obviously got something to do with the barber pole. <laughs> I think you probably guessed it by now. I've used it recently. I forget when I used it, but I've definitely used this recently.
So yeah, you've probably guessed it. Sterling Barbershop. It's just the next in the in the row of soaps. So I'm just doing them in, not in any particular order, other than other than the way they're stacked on the shelf of my uh, <coughs> shave den. So. Oh, I've got something else to do today. I've got to have a look at that to-do list. Some, I've got to shout out a company, and I think I know who it is. I think it's Apocalypse Grooming, but I forget who asked me to give them a shout out. I haven't actually used Apocalypse, Apocalypse Grooming yet. Um, I must do that. It's remiss of me not to have at least supported them in some some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> Um, I've looked at their site recently. It seems like they've got some different stuff there, so probably worth having a look. I don't have any discount codes and I, I, I just don't do discount codes. Um, <clears throat> I know Sig Solo and CB Shaves and a few others <clears throat> have discount codes. I don't. I think there's enough discount codes out there and mine won't be any better than anybody else's. So what's the point? <clears throat> and plus it kind of makes it look like you're affiliated with a, with a vendor. For, well, to me anyway, I just want to keep my channel clean. Um, no, no discounts, no none of that, you know. And in some ways I don't believe in the discounts because whilst they're supporting other YouTubers and so on and so forth, you're also, they're not making, the, the, the vendors if they're a small vendor, need every penny they can get to reinvest in the business. So, <clears throat> but that's just the way I think anyway. So I'm going to use the Dorco Titan, which is in the gunmetal 6C on plate three. I'm going to use that on my left side, which is your right. Okay. Feels sharp, efficient, very nice, very comfortable. Very nice, right, okay. So this is the Dorco Prime in the rose gold. Both brand new blades. Both very smooth. Can't really tell a difference, to be honest, at the moment. I would say that's a complete draw. They both felt almost exactly the same. Sorry about this, somebody's at my front door. I'll just ignore it. There's somebody downstairs can answer it. So let's go for the second pass. Oh, the scent off this soap, really nice. One of my favorite barbershop scents, this. I've been asked to do um, a video on my favorite razor, favorite soap, you know, pretty much all the gear that I've got to pick a favorite. And that's actually a very difficult thing to do because I do so many different kinds of shaves. You know, I do head shaves, I do face shaves, I do straight shaves, I do SEs, DEs. So that's a really difficult one for me to pick. But I'll have a think on it. And uh, I'll do it. Oh yeah, I was going to find out who asked me to do, to give a shout out to Apocalypse Grooming, didn't I? Um... Yeah, as I say, I haven't used them yet. That was asked by some, well, it was a channel called Dronescape. Dronescape um, asked me to do that. So I can tick that one off my to-do list. And I can tick the Dorco Prime versus Titan off my to-do list. So we're getting there. 
Yeah, all-time favourite shave gear. Hobbs has asked me to do that. All-time favourite shave gear. So I'll have a think on that and I'll, I'll, I'll try and produce that, but I can't really do that while I'm doing Sterling September because I'm using Sterling soaps most of the time until I run out. Once I've run out of the Sterling, different Sterling soaps that I've got, then I will move on to what I usually do, to be honest. Um, and, and then maybe I'll, I'll address that question. So um, on this side, it's the um, Dorco Prime in the rose gold. Across the grain for me is straight up. Feels very smooth. If I'm honest, really I should do these, but because I should do these comparisons on the on plate four because that's that's what I I prefer. Plate four, plate five, that sort of area, that's where I prefer it. I've used it on plate three, so everybody knows, you know, it's it's middle of the road. But I, I can hardly feel it cutting. I can hear it, and it obviously has cut. But it, it, it's for me, I like to feel the blade cut. So I like a more aggressive razor. Um, I can hear it cutting, just can't feel the blade. <clears throat> and that's not as enjoyable for me. So, okay, let's just do a quick test. Right. I would say the Dorco Titan side, there's a bit more growth left. Not a lot in it though. There's very little difference between the two sides. It, it, it's it's a draw, I would say. In some places the the Titan feels closer, and in other places the the Prime feels closer. So to me, I think we're looking at a draw here, peeps. But we'll see after the third pass. Um, you know, some of my favourite blades are Nasets or Nasets. Um, Feathers, Kai's, you know, I actually like Astra blades in, in some razors. You know, just depends on the razor that I'm using. It's really difficult to pick a favourite. But I'll try and think. My long-term favourite was the Astra. When I, from, from the day I started, I loved the Astras. Um... But as I've progressed and my skin's got used to this type of shaving, my, my preferences have changed. And whilst the Astra is still an amazing razor, and I would, I would highly recommend it to somebody with my beard type, which is medium to fine, you know, from fine to medium beard, beard type, I would definitely recommend the Astra. Um, As a, as a good beginner's blade, you know, it's, it's super smooth, it's really nice, really comfortable, especially in the Merca 34C and the DE89, the Edwin Jagger DE89. It'd be interesting, really, to put this up against an Astra blade to see what it's like. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really comfortable. There's quite a bit left. <clears throat> there is quite a bit left. Um, it is very comfortable, but...
Okay, there is a difference now. Well, still not a lot though. I would say there's a, a slightly more Velcro left on the Prime side than there is on the Titan side, which surprises me because the Titans are really cheap. And, and really the difference could just be technique. All the usual spots need picking up, but I can't tell them apart. I really can't. The, chain, the differences will pro probably come to light when you're on your second, third, fourth shave. I only ever go to three shaves. I never go in. I can't remember when I went past three shaves with a single blade unless it was an accident. <clears throat> um, so it's a difficult one. This is another one I could repeat, I guess, but I don't want to start repeating loads, um, loads of shaves, loads of Battle of the Blades, because uh, that starts to get a bit too long-winded. I mean, I don't know, you tell me what you think, but <clears throat> I could do that. But if I started to do that, I'd have to do Saturday shows as Battle of the Blades as well. Um, and I like the freedom of just doing Battle of the Blades on a, on a Monday. So yeah, we've got a new Prime Minister here in the UK. We'll have to wait and see what she does. Liz Truss. She, I was expecting about 12.30. That's why I'm late doing this video. I was going to watch it. But I was doing something and then I realised it was being broadcast way before 12.30. So I kind of missed it. So I had to rewind. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, to be honest, I've got no faith in any of them. <laughs> I really haven't. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't like talking politics, so I'm not going to go into my reasons for that, but... All I can say is she's got two years to prove that she's good enough and she's going to need to pull quite a few rabbits out of the hat to get us out of the situation we're all in here in the UK and uh, you know it's not just the UK that's, that's suffering with this it's it's pretty much the whole world <coughs> any pri energy prices have shot up so anyway I'm not here to talk about that it's depressing Right, that's pretty much BBS. Tiny little hit bit here on both sides. In fact, I'll, I'll pick that up. I may as well pick that up. And that's it. BBS. Um, great shave. If I'm honest, I can't tell them apart. I really can't. I think, as I've said before, you'll, where the difference will become clear is after your second and third use, you know, shave with these blades. I think there, there may be a difference there because the, the Dorco Titans are substantially cheaper, or they were when I bought them, substantially cheaper um, than the Dorco Primes. And the Dorco Primes are substantially better packaged. I mean. You know the Dorco Primes come in the in that plastic box, so that's going to cost you for that. Whereas the Dorco Titans come in a cardboard box that you just tear open. So yeah, right. I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Time for the post shave. Without any cold water on, the face feels great as usual. Really nice. So, cold rinse time. I, that was a hot water shave. I'm doing all of my Battle of the Blades as hot water shaves. 
Time for the alum, just to see if there is any difference. No, no difference at all. There's next to no sting apart from probably a couple of spots where I've got a bit close. Um, there's no difference in either side. It's almost like I've used the same, the exact same razor blade. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had one as close as this. No burn at all, not even a tinge of warmth or a tickle, you know. There's nothing, no feedback. And yeah, I got BBS, so that shows they're both really good blades. I'd be interested to see what they're like in some other razors as well. Because you've got to bear in mind that I'm only testing all of these razor blades out on the Rockwell 6C. A lot of blades, you know, yeah, a lot of blades suit different razors differently. You know, they some they agree with, and some, well, some they work with, and some they don't. Um, I haven't found a razor blade yet that doesn't work in the 6C. Maybe the Derby Extra at a push um, on plate three, certainly. Um, but that feels great. That feels really, really nice. So um, the post shave tonic, if you like, is Lucky Tiger. Just felt like using this. Don't use this enough. I think I said that last time. <clears throat> It's nice and refreshing. It's, it has got a citrusy scent, but I don't know whether there's any citrus in it. It's just a nice, clean, clean scent, refreshing. <clears throat> and it does seem to have sort of a, a, a citrusy background somewhere, but who knows. And the aftershave today is Sterling Barbershop. See if there's any burn now. Slight tingle, slight tingle. I'd say one out of ten on both sides. So very nice scent though. I love this barber shop. <laughs> it's one of my favourite Sterling scents. And then I'm using barber shop post shave balm from Sterling. I tell you what, I've got more burn where I haven't shaved <laughs> from that aftershave. <laughs> That's mad. So I'm just using that much. Rub it between the hands. Oh, fantastic. Wow. <laughs> I think I've got to rub that in. I've used too much. That's better, just rubbing it in. Still got a bit of sting though, but it's weird. It's mostly around sort of the eye, sort of eye, bags of the eyes or whatever. It's around there, so I obviously don't shave there. Anyway, um, so yeah, today's battle was definitely another draw. Um, definitely closer than the last battle I did. I really can't tell the difference between the two. Um, certainly not on the first shave. If I were to test them again on the second and third shave, then I might find there is a difference. But I, I, I'm already, I've already kind of committed to do the last Battle of the Blades as a second and third shave, but I, I, we'll, we'll see. I may do it, I may not. I'll keep them in the background. If I, haven't, if, if I run out of Battle of the Blades to do, then I will do a second shave or a third shave depending on where I'm at on a Monday. All right, so that's it for me today. Um, I hope to see you again on Wednesday for my straight shave. I'll see you there. Bye now.